All right, so I got home and I see this sitting on the table. All finished. Actually, let me give you a quick little tour here. So again, that's printed in one piece. So these bars in here, these holes with pens in them, these slots, this becomes a hinge in a way. All printed in one piece, in place, just like you see it here. I'm about to pull it off the table. Let's see if I got it framed right. All right. Hopefully this one works. I did another one of these when I first got it, and it failed. And I realized it's because I had a setting wrong in the system. Um, the software thought I had 2.85 millimeter filament. And I actually have 1.75 millimeter filament. So when it printed, it was woefully underprinting uh, the amount of filament being sent to the printer. So it was all wispy and really weak. So I'm tearing off the base here. Print the base, it helps it hold on to the table. That's what the base is for. Peel that off. little bit of debris in there I'm gonna have to clean out. Get my little pick tool here. Again this is the support table that helps hold everything in place nice and tight while this is printing so that all these things line up like they do. And when you see this thing work it'll blow your mind. If you kind of understand what's going on here it's, it's pretty amazing. Still blows my mind. I'm watching it happen and it still blows my mind that you can print something and in place like it is and then what I'm going to do here in just a second and everything's working. You don't have to assemble it. You just take it off the table and use it. I'm trying to be really gentle because I don't want to break it because I used uh, some the filament that came with the printer and it's really cheap filament. Some sample filament just to so you have something you can print. All right, I think everything's broken free. So as you can see, it was printed in one piece like this. I'll turn it sideways so you can see it better. It's printed like this in one piece. And it prints layer by layer at 0.2, or yeah, 0.2 millimeters thick. Over and over and over. So there's thousands of layers here. Came out really nice and smooth. This is a fantastic print. There's some color deviation. That's because I had a different filament in it before I started. So now I gotta work this little screw here. All right, just had to break it free. So watch what happens. Remember, this is all done in place. There, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but this here is turning. This is the screw I got my finger on right now. So I'm gonna twist that. Not sure which way I'm supposed to go here. And it'll be a little bit clunky until I do this a couple of times. And then it smooths out. Once you do it a little bit, it starts to smooth out as you go. There's little itty bitty pieces of burrs here and there, plastic burrs. You gotta get those to kind of let go. Oh yeah, here I see. A little bit of welding, or uh, little uh, strings, that's what it is. Little strings of plastic kind of connected everywhere. Yeah, there we go. All right, got it loosened up. So check this out. Printed in one piece. I did not assemble it. Took it off the table, turned the screw, and I've got this lift jack. If you look here, these are threaded. And it was printed inside that. So there's threads in this, and the threads on here, and this thing all works, and it moves, and actually functions. I can lift it up and down. This is my 3D printed platform. Platform lift, platform jack, whatever you want to call it. It's getting easier. Each time I do it, it's getting easier. Get a little extra, more of that base material I didn't get off of there. Now it's getting really smooth. It's really easy to turn now. So check that out. And look how much it works. I mean, it, it goes way up. 
Hope I'm not out of frame. I'll, I'll go around and look here in a second. There. Let's take a look, see what I got showing. Yeah, it looks like I'm in the frame. Amazing. Blows my mind. Seriously blows my mind. So you can print something in place like that. Take it off the table, and it has all this mechanism built into it in a single print. Just astonishing to me. So I'm going to take these heavy cutters here, show you I can lift them up and down with little effort, because those are so heavy. Amazing. Alright, just wanted to share that. See you guys.